Hello, my name is Mark Howard. I'm with a company called Global IPv6. Uh, this is one video in a series of videos just discussing and talking about IPv6. In a previous video I've done was IPv6 subnetting. And I mentioned that video we would come back later on and talk about how is a host portion assigned to an IPv6 address. And there's actually a number of ways that you can assign the host portion of an IPv6 address to a host. So for example here, let's say we had an address. So we have an address of 2FFB001000. So there's a couple options I have here to assign the host portion. Number one, what I could do is I could simply put all zeros on the end by putting double colons. So by putting double colons, that means I'm filling the rest of it in with zeros, except the last byte, and I can put a number 42 there. So this host would be known as 2FFE001000, all zeros and 42. Then I would note it as a 64 on the end, meaning that the first 64 bits is basically going to be my network and subnet prefix. So since normally most companies are assigned the first 48 bits as your network number, we pretty much just say that this workstation resides in subnet 1000 and it's host ID number 42. And that's one method in which you can assign statically an IPv6 address on a host. Another method is we could use what we call the EUI 64 method. And in EUI 64, we allow the MAC address to be associated with the ending address. And I'll give you an example of that. So once again, let's say the host was assigned these first 64 bits of 2FFB001000. And it has a MAC address so I just make up some MAC address so what's going to happen is if I use the EUI64 method that means I can allow the host to take its MAC address and finish out the address on the end to do this, what's going to happen is the host by default, since this MAC address came off of the Ethernet card, what the host is going to do is it's going to take the first eight bits and it's going to change the second to the least significant bit here from a zero to a one. your operating systems across the board will do this when the host gets the address off of its Ethernet card. So when it flips the second least significant bit, I'm left with a 0 and a 2. Well, in IPv6, all leading zeros are dropped on it. So my leading zeros drop, so I'm left with a 2. So in this case, I have a 2, and then the next two values are brought down to a 2, 4, and that would make up my first 16 bits on it. Even though you only see 12 bits, since the first leading zero is dropped, that's why you have 12 bits there, but in essence, there really is 16 because there's an imaginary zero there that was dropped. The next field... We consist of Charlie 1. Now, we need 64 bits to make up the host field. Well, the problem with the MAC is it's only 48 bits in size. So what we do in IPv6 is we actually pad between the first three bytes and the last three bytes. So the first three bytes is always going to be your organizational unit identifier, basically the manufacturer ID of the Ethernet card. And the last three bytes is your serialized number. So we pad right here with FF 
Fe. And then we continue on. I put a 96 colon. So the end result would be your MAC address copied down. <clears throat> the second four bits over here is changed from a 0 to a 1 on the second least significant bit, which results in a 2. And the reason that was changed once again because it came off of the Ethernet card, meaning it must be a unique uh, MAC address. Then you have 24 colon Charlie1FF colon FE. This is my padding right here in the middle. And then we have the last three bytes of the Ethernet cards address right here. So with 48 bits plus 16 bits of padding, we now have a 64-bit address on it. <clears throat> so now this workstation would have a 128-bit address, which is probably not the, the friendliest thing to try to have to ping. Because uh, once again, there's a lot of bits to this address, and it can be kind of uh, tedious to have to try to ping an address like this. So a lot of uh, companies you might, you know, it's my recommendation is you may want to go something once again like this, 2FFB, 0, 0, 1000, and then use double colons, fill all this in with zeros, and then what you could do is you just pick a number. Like I could start my first host at number 100, for example, and then the second host would be 101 and so forth. So once again, my name is Mark Cower. I'm with Global IPv6 and thank you for taking the time to watch my video.